Hey RevLEM followers. So today we're going to talk about the waterfall trial, which is IV fluid administration in acute pancreatitis. So the paper we're going to be talking about is this one right here that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. I've attached the PubMed PMID number if you wanted to look this up on PubMed, but essentially it was published in New England Journal of Medicine, Aggressive or Moderate Fluid Resuscitation in Acute Pancreatitis. The clinical question these authors were trying to answer was, does moderate fluid resuscitation in acute pancreatitis decrease the rate of progression to moderate or severe pancreatitis versus aggressive fluid resuscitation? So who did they include? These were adults greater than or equal to 18 years of age. They had acute pancreatitis and they had to have had pain for less than 24 hours. So they enrolled 250 patients and the moderate fluid resuscitation versus the aggressive fluid resuscitation were defined as such. If the patient was hypovolemic, then you gave a 10 cc per kilogram lactated ringers bolus. If there was no hypovolemia, then you gave no bolus. And then you followed that with 1.5 cc's per kilogram hour of lactated ringers. That was the moderate group. The aggressive group was, no matter what their fluid status, you give a 20 cc per kilogram lactated ringers bolus, and then you follow that with three cc's per kilogram hour of lactated ringers. The trial ended up getting stopped early. There was a high incidence of fluid overload with no difference in the primary outcome, and so I wanted to state that up front. So here's the two outcomes that we really care about. The progression to moderate to severe acute pancreatitis, which was the primary outcome, and then one of the key secondary outcomes was incidence of volume overload. So for the primary outcome, the aggressive fluid group did worse. Um, there was no surprise to me, but to many there may be. And it was not statistically significant, but again, remember, they stopped this trial early, so it may not have been powered well enough to even get us to statistical significance. As far as the key secondary outcome, the aggressive fluid group, again, did worse, but this time it was statistically significant. There were way more patients that were fluid overloaded with aggressive fluid therapy. Key secondary outcomes, organ failure, complications of the pancreatitis or from the fluids themselves, respiratory failure. Again, the aggressive fluid group did worse. These findings were not statistically significant but I think many of us would agree these are clinically significant. So how much fluids are we actually talking about? So in the aggressive group, we're talking 7.8 liters. For the moderate group, we're talking 5.5 liters. So we're talking about almost two and a half liters difference between the two groups. Now they achieved this 4.8% non-statistically significant difference in the primary outcome. The trial was actually set to find a 10% difference but there was a statistically significant difference in volume overload. And so for me, even though our primary outcome is not statistically significant, I don't need another trial to prove to me that there's no benefit from a efficacy standpoint and there's way more harm with too much fluids. So the clinical bottom line of the waterfall trial is aggressive fluid administration trended towards more fluid overload and respiratory failure in adult patients with acute pancreatitis the treatment going forward for acute pancreatitis should be smaller fluid boluses, 10 cc's per kilogram in patients with hypovolemia, no fluid boluses if they have normal volemia, followed by maintenance fluids at 1.5 cc's per kilogram hour. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and questions. As always, thank you for following along, and until next time.